Well, we actually picked up some speed there. And we have derailed. We are off the track now. Oh well. Kind of wish we had some like mountains or something we could place up here. That would actually look really cool. I don't know if that's planned in the game eventually or not. Here we are. We are traveling through town, through the station. This is really neat actually. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys my first impressions of Trex, the train set game. Now, first off, I want to thank the developer for sending me over a key to this game. Uh, this was something that I actually really wanted to check out. Uh, when I was little, I used to play with these little wooden trains. Uh, you had these little tracks that you can snap together and make a neat little train set. And that's basically what this game is. Except for on a much bigger scale, you have unlimited tracks, unlimited freedom, uh, you've got little buildings, you can build like towns, stations, it actually looks really cool, there's several game modes that you can check out. Now if you do want to check this game out, it is available on Steam, I'll have that linked in the description, but let's go ahead and just jump right in and check out the game modes real quick. Alright, so we have three game modes here, we have free play, passengers, and cargo. Free play is you just build whatever tracks you want, uh, you use as many objects, no objectives. Uh, passengers, I believe you have to uh, build the tracks, there will be like pa passengers set up in certain areas of the map and you have to build the tracks to them. And cargo, I'm not really sure what cargo is, it doesn't light up or anything, maybe it's not available at the moment. But you've got that, you've got three different environments right now. Uh, we're going to go with like a modern apartment and kind of, you'll have some uh, furniture spread out throughout the room so we can build kind of obstacles around it. So we've got that. Uh, we're going to just do some free play here. I just want to build a train track. I want to build a little town. Just have a little set uh, set up here. So let's go ahead. We'll go into free play. Uh, let's do that. And we're going to go straight into play. Now, as far as the building, it's actually, it was a little confusing at first how to build the trains. Uh, but you start off here, and at any point you can take control of that little wooden train right there uh, to test out your tracks. But the building's actually quite simple. You use the mouse to select where you want the track to go, and you can use the mouse wheel to uh, make the track go up and down. Now, there is special uh, objects here, which they're all, for some reason, I kind of wish these were all just unlocked immediately. Uh, we can just pop them out here, uh, but yeah, you unlock these. There is a money system, but I think here in free play, probably we can afford to unlock everything. But yeah, there's interactive objects, there's buildings, uh, passenger stuff like stations, uh, wedding stations, spawns. I'm not really sure what all this does. We'll have to play with some of this a little bit. You've got decorations like trees. So basically, let's go ahead and set down some tracks to begin with, and then we'll kind of start moving on. Uh, and I think I want to build like a little town, and I see a nice little spot here in this living room. So let's go ahead. We'll start off. We'll place some tracks. We're going to immediately go down. Now, I don't know if structural integrity is, if that's a thing in this game. Uh, we're going to make just a big, wavy hill that goes all the way down to the floor here. Uh, is this the floor? There we go. I think we're... No, we're still not to the floor. That is a massive drop-off for the train. Probably could have linked a bridge over to maybe the, the coffee... Ta or the little uh, TV stand over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it immediately go right. Uh, they have some neat track parts. Let me see. They have like a corkscrew here. Maybe we could have taken this down. Hmm. Let's see. We can rotate that. Maybe we'll go back. Maybe about right here we'll corkscrew down just to avoid this big hill that we've got here. Let me clear this track real quick. Uh, clearing the track's pretty easy. Use the C key and you can clear it all the way. I think that's about right. Right about here. And let's go ahead and unlock the corkscrew. Was that right? Uh, we need to go back one more on that. So let's go back right about here. And then we'll add that corkscrew. Uh, right up here, and this should snap right on. There we go. I don't know if that's awkward. Uh, let's go ahead and drive the train real quick and see if this is possible. So yeah, you get you have full control over the train. It's got this nice little first-person camera. It's really weird being at this perspective. Like, you see everything that's really big, all the furniture, and you're just a little train on this track, and oh, this is actually working pretty good. Okay, well, we actually picked up some speed there. And we have derailed. We are off the track now. Oh well. Alright, so from here, we're going to go ahead, 
Let's go out one and we're gonna take a lift. There is an object or there's like a little splitter. Uh, you can make the track go in two different directions. I don't know how to work that yet. I, I kind of want to learn about that a bit before I install one because I would like the track to split off maybe one end to go out into that room instead of it all going this way. So we're gonna make a turn like this and this is gonna be the straightaway into the town. So we have a town probably about right here. So we'll put this here. Uh, let's go ahead and just start unlocking the uh, the buildings here. Oh, <laughs> these are kind of cool looking. So this is going to be a town. Basically, everything is going to be based on the tracks. So we'll have all the buildings. I want them right up against the tracks. Let's kind of spread them out a bit. Let's place a couple of these. I wonder, can I change the colors? I will right, stick two of the same beside each other. A lot of the uh, older style buildings have the same have the same like style, and they'll be like lined up one right after another so uh, that actually doesn't look too strange let's go ahead and do that what else do we have random house what does this mean random house okay that's kind of small uh let's go ahead and unlock that and we'll put this maybe over here does it randomize okay so this one does change colors so let's spread some of these out we're gonna put just some random houses we're gonna slowly fill this whole area and oh look at that actually spit out another one it actually spit the same style over here just a different color all right oh there's a three-story one i need to watch where i spread these out at let's go ahead we'll add a couple more we need like a train station in here so let's unlock that real quick okay so that's actually kind of a neat looking train station you know that kind of makes me want to move all the buildings up Actually, this might work. So maybe having the train station right about here. Do we want to build or do we want to move the buildings up? Maybe we do. Let me move these forward and get them closer to the train tracks here. All right, so we've placed some blocks down, some more houses. I kind of made them actually look like they're a part of like a block. Uh, what's this? We have a block tower here. Oh, okay. It's actually a block tower. Looks like a Jenga tower. I don't think we need that. Let's see what else do we have here. Uh, we've got some more interactive parts here. I kind of want to place some more stuff down. There's a clock tower. That would look pretty cool. Oh, that's actually really nice looking. I wonder if we can wrap the tracks around this or maybe split it off. Uh, let's try interacting with this. Let's go ahead. Let's go here. And will you wrap around this clock tower? I wonder if I can place it again. Hmm, we'll make it kind of circle around here and we'll fill the rest of this area in. There we go. So we'll do something like that. Let's go ahead and go back into here. Uh, a deposit. What is that? Oh, okay, that's neat. Uh, let's go ahead and stick. Normally these don't stay like right in the middle of town. Let's go ahead and stick this over to the side here. Uh, once you cruise down into town. So we've got one of those. What else do we have here? This is actually really cool. A uh, tall house. There's a couple fountains. What do these look like? Oh, that's pretty. You know, that actually looks really good just right there along the tracks. Let's do that there. I kind of want to move this. I want to move this clock tower. Can I move it? Right. There we go. So we're going to do that. We're going to do another line of houses here. So we'll go to random house and we'll do like another street full of houses like that. There we go. And we'll continue these like so. There we go, and let's go ahead and turn one. Actually, we're going to leave that open there. And let's go ahead and finish the houses on this side. Makes it look like a little bit more of a complete block. All right, I'm liking the way this looks. We need some trees, though. We need something to decorate, or at least to add some background to this. So, okay, that's neat. These are little bitty trees. This will work actually really good. So, let's go ahead... We're gonna place these. I want this to be open, I believe. There might be something else we can place there. Let's go and stick some trees along the tracks right through here. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead. Can we follow along the tracks like this? Kind of curious. Does the train knock those over? They look really, really close to the track. I don't know. We'll see. So there we go. We've got that. Uh, what else do we have? I know we've got some more trees down here. Let's go and lock some of these. Is that a tree or is that a bush? I don't know, this bush. Let's go ahead and stick a couple of these along the uh, tracks here. There we go. Uh, what else do we have? I need some big trees. Actually, ooh, there's some lampposts and some walls. 
Uh, let's go ahead and grab some lamp posts here. Do these actually light up is the question. Uh, oh, they, yeah, they somewhat do. I don't know if they're actually lighting up the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and place a couple of these throughout the uh, streets here. All right, so we have another piece here. We've got a wall or like a fence. I kind of like this piece. Uh, I want to use more of this. So I think you can actually kind of connect these. Make it look like the town's actually kind of closed off here. So we'll do that. Spin this around and send it under the couch. There we go. And let's stick one on this side here. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, let's turn it right here. There we go. All right. So we have a pretty neat little town set up. I'm pretty sure there's some other objects we can add here. It looks like there's some more trees. Is there anything bigger tree-wise? All the trees are kind of small to me. I want some bigger trees. Let's see. Come on. There's got to be something, something huge. Anything? Uh, what was that? Let's see. Tree three. These are bushes. Now let's stick a couple of these along the entrance here. There we go. And boom. All right, so we have a nice little town set up here. Let's go ahead. We're going to continue the tracks. Uh, there's a couple other interactive parts that we haven't played with, so we're going to go and look at those real quick, and then we'll continue this track. All right, so I just figured out you can actually add passenger carriages to your train. So you just unlock them. Uh, they've got, go down here to interactive, and there's a passenger carriage uh, starting point. I don't know if there's anything else you can add. So if we were to stack another one of these, does it add another one? Are, these, are they actually connected? I think they are. So we got a couple of those connected now. Uh, as far as other interactive objects, there's some, like the block tower, I'm pretty sure you can knock that over. So we might have to do something with that eventually. Uh, I do want to go ahead and move on track-wise, and we'll see what else we can do here. Uh, let's go ahead and start going... Eventually we're going to want to swing around. Let's go ahead and take a... Let's take a right right here. We'll make, we're going to make just a little bridge. There we go. It would be nice to actually have some sort of environment tool. Say if you didn't want to be in like a, a living room. It'd be nice to be able to like add water and stuff like that. Uh, let's go ahead and go this way. It's going to be like a long straightaway. And let's go ahead. Can we corkscrew up? I wonder if the train's got enough power to do that. Hmm. That would be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and set one of these up here. So the train's got to go up. Kind of pointless for the train to go up like that. Now, I'm still trying to figure out how to interact with these. I'm assuming WASD, we can select which track we want to go on. So we probably could add another one of these down there. Uh, we're going to add one right here. And this is like a little splitter. And we're going to head back to the station itself. Now it's kind of a pointless turn. I kind of wish we had some like mountains or something we could place up here. That would actually look really cool. I don't know if that's planned in the game eventually or not. Uh, let's go all the way over here, up on the coffee table, and take a right. Uh, we are going back around to the station here. I want to have one connection done, and then we can always go out here, and we're going to test this out here in a second. So let's go all the way over here. question is, where is, where is that uh, start of that track? Actually, I think we're going to be good here. We might have to turn slightly. Man, if the tracks like this when I was a kid, if they would stick in the air like this, this would have been amazing. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got a connection there. All right, so that's one line. We really need another station somewhere. Uh, down here, I'm going to go ahead and clear off this one here. Or I could just, can I just make a connection like that? Uh, let's see. How do we do that? All right, so we're going to connect into here and we'll have a split off right here so you, you can completely bypass the town. So we'll go out this way. This will be a flat section. And we're going to connect it with the other section that we were building on over there. Is there any other crazy parts? we got some more, more interactive parts here. There's a speed check. What is this? If I were to stick this along the tracks, does that do anything? Oh, there's a... Okay, there's like a little... I don't know how this thing works. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and place it. I think I, it needs to be turned around, though. So let's go speed check. And you're going to aim that way. Anything else? There's a starting point, which I think we already have that technically set. Uh, we're going to make, make another platform out here. Actually, there's a spawn. Can that spawn just passengers? Let's make a platform right here. What's this little spawn here? Normal business wedding. Uh, what was that? It spawned something somewhere. Hmm. Not really sure what that did. We'll have to read into that. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Let's continue. Oh! 
Oh, it spawns passengers. Okay. All right, so we have some passengers now. Oh, they actually go on to the platform. I feel like this platform actually should be on the other side. It looks like the, the railing shouldn't be right there. Let's go ahead and get all these gone, and we'll turn sooner over here. There we go. So we cruise right by that platform. Let's go ahead and go all the way down here. All right, we need to start going. Actually, we probably should have started going up sooner here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's clear off a couple of these. And let's go up here. There we go. Up, up, and away. And we're going to turn right, right here and connect the track. So there we go. We have two routes. Two little separate routes. So we have the one that shoots through town, and we've got one that bypasses town. So let's go ahead and get an overview of this real quick. Looks pretty good, I have to say. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we want to add? What's a, what's a collect? I think we've already added one of these, did we not? Oh, this is a different one. Okay, let's go ahead and add one of these into the background. Actually, let's add one of these randomly. No, let's keep it close to town here. Uh, is there anything else I want to add? What's the tall house? Okay, so that's pretty much just one of those. We're going to add another row of these. I'm going to do a bit more decorating here, and then we'll drive the train. Alright, I'm gonna give you guys just a quick overview. I have added some random trees out in the uh, just kind of the open areas. I added a little bit to the station and I added some more buildings to the town. So it kind of looks like we have a complete little town here. So we are ready to go ahead and jump aboard and try this out. So we have two little passenger carts attached to us here. And let's get rolling. I don't know if we can derail or anything. I'm kind of curious about that. And here we go down the first corkscrew. Oh, 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 we are really hauling here. Okay, okay, we want to go there. Okay, let's go ahead and slow down just a bit. Here we are. We are traveling through town, through the station. This is really neat, actually. Uh, we're going to hit these trees. <gasps> Ooh, that was really close. So you can get a nice little view of town. You can see our little passenger carts with us here. You can see all the streets. This was surprisingly easy to build. I kind of like the way this uh, the builder works and how you can place these objects pretty much anywhere as you want. Uh, let's go up the corkscrew here. Okay, so we avoided the split off. We're actually going to pass through the station here. I'm going to stop. Uh, let's go ahead and stop about right here. See if we can get up oh, a little bit closer. Will these passengers get on? Is that a thing? So if I were to stop here... Oh, nope. <laughs> I kind of just overshot the platform. All right. Hmm, so we're actually going to loop around this way. Oh, this is going to be new. All right, so we are going back up the corkscrew where we came from. We're going to go back to that passenger station and see if we can pick up those uh, people. They're probably kind of mad that we skipped over them. Uh, we're going to travel up here. This would be kind of cool to have mountains up here because you got a really nice view of the town from up here. So let's go ahead and get rolling. I'm going to go down this here, over the couch, up the couch. You know what? I would like actually like to see this done with those modern looking train sets. I think that would be actually really cool for a game uh, to do that. All right, so we're gonna go back down here. Hmm, probably should add a couple more switches here because I think we are stuck. I think we're gonna be stuck in a loop, not going in the place that we wanna go here. Let's go ahead and reset. All right, we're gonna come back down through and we're gonna try to take, uh, let's go ahead and slow down here. Uh, we're going to go down the corkscrew. Actually, I didn't want to stop. Uh, let's go and Can we switch it over to the left? So if I hold this down... There we go. Okay, so we're going to head to this section of town first. So we can actually control uh, which direction this track goes. So let's do this. We're going to come in. We're going to slow her down. I do not know how to pick up passengers. I even looked at the controls and I, I couldn't really pick up on anything. So let's go ahead and stop right here. Oh! 
Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. Guess we're ready to go. That's actually really neat how they just kind of load up in there. All right. From this direction, do I have a way to get into the big town? That's kind of the question here. I believe we should. Yeah, we'll, we'll go right through the, the main station on the big town. So we're going to swoop around here, up over the bridge. Let's go ahead and where's the station at? Oh, yeah, it's around the clock tower here. And we're going to slow down. Let's slow down right here. I wonder if they'll, will they get off over here? Let's go and roll forward and stop. Oh. Oh. And there they go. All right. And what are they? Oh, they just go into the station and disappear. So you can kind of make your own little working railroad system here. You can spawn passengers. Uh, this is actually a really neat game. Really happy the developer sent me a key on this. But anyways, folks, let's go ahead and let the train go here. You can actually kind of view it from here. Does it does it continue to go? Oh, it does. Oh, that's actually really neat. So you can see it from up here and watch it work. But anyways, folks, if you want to check out this game, it is available on Steam. It is linked down below. I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the channel. If you want to see some more tracks, uh, definitely comment below. Smash that like button. Uh, let me know. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions of tracks, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.